Yo, this is a home workout dog, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> First off, obviously, you've gotta do a warm up, and for that, you're gonna need some of this stuff. Oh, fucking hell. So, need some of this, you know? Nice long stick. It's good for stretching your shoulders, you know? And you change it up. You know, hopefully your shoulders are good from that. And then the next warm up is, you know, the next warm up for your shoulders is this one. It doesn't have to be plates. It could be, it could be anything. You know, that weighs like 1.1 kilograms. But you just get them here. And you just do this. I'm puffed already and I haven't even warmed up properly yet, but yeah, you just do this one and uh, yeah, you know, until your shoulders start burning with that lactic acid. That lactic acid. Oh yeah, mate. Right. <laughs> you know, for the next part of the warm up, I forgot to mention, it's a push and pull workout. So, you know, that means we're doing pull ups and push ups and other pushing and pull out. <laughs> pushing <laughs> and pull up warm ups and stuff. So, you know, just do some push ups and stuff. <clears throat> so, you know, what for a push up, you know. You get your hands like this, make them even and stuff, you know. And you, you go near the ground, give it a good kiss, mate. Push up. <clears throat> Work out, mate. <laughs> you might. Right, next part of the warm up. Since we're doing pull ups, I'll be using this. If you don't have a pull up bar, then you're a pleb, so unlucky. But I don't know, you just get some of this if you get it, get on your pull up bar, and you just, you just dead hang. <laughs> next part of the warm up dog is dips. Any chair will do for this, you know, even those ones. Well, not really, but like chairs, you know, got to kind of balance it. Train your stability. But if you've got stools, that's the best because they won't like fall over, you know. So, for dips. Now you just go down. And then back up. It's a warm up. That's the next part of the warm up, mate. The next part of the warm up is on this pull-up bar again. You know, hopefully you got one. If you don't, that's that's unlucky. Yep. All right. So the next one is called the scapula raise, right? You know, so you get your scapula, which is like I don't really know too much about working out, but you know, it's in this area. Your scapulas, they're somewhere there. And you just raise them. You know, you look. <sighs> look something like this one. Oh, honestly, I think I've forgotten how to do this. <laughs> you don't really bend your arms. You just um, you just raise your scapulas, mate. <laughs> oh yeah. So the next part of the warm up, right? On here again, right here. In the back, and you pull it back, and it's called like a. It's like a front lever, but not really. It's like a, a wimpy front lever. If you can't do this one, that's alright. You know, you don't have to do this one. Um, but it's kind of like, you know, like you just do it. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should have known. Better right, mate. So. A front lever, it's kind of like this. You just, but it's like a wimpy one. You can, I can barely get up. I'm so fat. So it's sort of like a scapula raise, right? But, but like you're lifting more of your body up. You know what I mean? So it's like, it doesn't really sound like a warm up with how much I'm straining, but yeah, all good. I haven't really explained much. I've realised that I'm just kind of saying to do it, not really how many sets and how long you know, but you know. I'll figure that out. So, 
the last part of warming up pull-ups is to do actual pull-ups, right? So if you don't know how to do pull-ups, it's like that other stuff I just did except you bend your arms. So you know, you just go, Woo! Oh, mate. <laughs> Hit my head. <clears throat> Can't really go all the way up since there's a roof there. You know? <clears throat> You know, do as many of those as you can, maybe like, well not as many as you can, maybe like five, ten, two hundred, however many you can. Having a dumbbell is nice, this baby right here. But um, I know not everyone has weights and dumbbells and stuff, but if you do, it definitely does help. Because if you can't do pull ups, you can just do some bicep curls to warm up your biceps and stuff like that. But um, if you, if you don't have weights, you know, just find something that's like, that's heavy, you know. I have this still right here, mate. Right? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, just find something heavy. Okay, maybe that's a bit heavy, but you know, um, you know, just like, Got it. Everyone's got a barbecue, right? So just get your gas tank and be like. <sighs> Other arm now. <sighs> Alright. You can use that for the workout, you know? If you got nothing, you know, just find something that's heavy, right? I don't know what you got. But yeah, you know, so for the warm up, I didn't really specify it, but you like, do, you know, do one to two sets of each, as many reps as you can, probably like five or less, you know. That makes me sound like I'm, you're not weak, you know, I don't know who you are, but you like, do, do as many reps as feels good for a warm up, you know, I'm not really sure what that is for you, but whatever that is for you, just do that. And uh, yeah, so about 30 seconds rest is in between each like warm up sets, you know, all the stuff I did, just do that. Get you nice warmed up, pumped up and stuff, yeah. Warm up and on to the workout dog. <laughs> right, this is the start of the workout dog. You know, we just finished the warm up. Now we're doing the workout dog here. Alright, so for the first part of the workout, right, we're doing some supersets, right? It's gonna involve pull ups and dips. So we're gonna do whatever reps you're comfortable with, you know? I'm probably gonna do about 10. And then 10 reps on here and maybe about 15 to 20 dips, you know? That's just what I'm good with, that's what I can be consistent with, because we we'll probably do it about over. Three to five sets, you know. I'm just kind of very giving it a bit of range, depending on your on your level. So yeah, just do ten reps here, go straight there, no break. Boom, do your reps there, and then you gotta like look at it, dog. Yeah, that's the way, mate. You dip there, and then have a break after you do that superset. You just did two two exercises, like a break of like one and a half minutes, like one minute to one and a half minutes. And then go back to this and do that for another three to five sets, depending on how you have, you know, how you're feeling, dog. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just do that. So, you know, we'll just show you how it's done, you know. So, you know, you grab your pull up bar, right? And you just pull up. So, I'll do 10 reps because that's what I feel pretty good with. So, Hopefully that was 10 because I didn't count, so I'm not fit. And then you come over to your dip, your area for dip and your stools, chairs, whatever you got. You get you know, about a little wider than shoulder width, I would say. And then, you know, you just start dipping, you know. So I'll do about 10 to 15. 
maybe 20, well probably not, but maybe like 10 to 15. So, yeah. Wow! Lost count. Hopefully, this is ten or some shit. All right, then you know, minute and a half break, and you know, just go again for three to five sets, whatever you're feeling. And yeah, now into the next exercise, dog. All right, next super set exercise because it's just gonna be. Super set after super set after super set after super set. That's what we're doing. So the next super set, right, is push ups or press ups, whatever you prefer. To um, come over here, dog. You know, whatever you got that's heavy. And we'll just do, you know, some, some bicep curls, you know. Just... That's a bit heavy, but you know, just find whatever's like reasonably heavy that you can rep. You know, maybe like eight to twelve reps, I would say, of bicep curls, and then push-ups. Probably go like twenty reps, fifteen, twenty reps. I mean, you don't have to do that. But like, you know, just do whatever numbers are good for you, right? So yeah, let's just get into it. Might probably do like fifteen or some shit. So you know, push-ups, dog. If you can't do pull-up push-ups, you know, it's fine to get on your knees as well. So, you know, it's all good, mate. So, you might yeah, about 15 to 20 of these, you know, whatever you want. Hopefully that was 20 or some shit. Alright, we're just gonna use this a bit. It's a bit heavy, but it should be right, mate. And then, you know, heavy weights are good for bulking anyway, am I right? I don't know, probably. So let's do the heavy stuff. Alright, that was about 10 reps. Alright. Next arm. About 20 reps right now. Good work, lads. You know, solid effort right there. On to the next one. Wow! Yo, I forgot I was recording there. Um, next super set is pike push-ups and one arm um, dumbbell rows, but without the dumbbell. If you don't have one, just, you know, again, find something heavy, just be like, some shit like that. I'll show you in a second, but yeah, pike push-ups first. If you don't know what they are, imagine what a pike looks like and then make your body look like that. So I don't know if that's like yoga or something, but you know, so So, so you get a normal push-up position, you know, right. So you know, it's like this usually, but then apply push-ups like, and like this. So you kind of like pointed like, oh my god, oh man, and you're like, hold on. My head's probably going to explode or something. But those are kind of hard to do, so maybe like five to ten reps of those. You know, just give it your best shot. 
Um, you know, your head might explode doing that, just a warning. You know, it's like one arm dumbbell rows, so you kind of like find like something to lean on, like a chair or something. So, you know, just find something, you know, like this or that chair that, you know, whatever works. Put your opposite leg to what you're using to lift the weight in front and the other one at the back to, you know, stay balanced and stuff. Yeah, yeah, fit. And then just pull the weight, you know. Probably a bit of a high bench would be better, but, you know, just go like. <clears throat> yeah. It's a good pulling exercise, good for your arms and your lats and stuff and your back it works your muscles believe it or not <sighs> maybe we do like 8 to 10 reps of these <sighs> I don't know how many reps it was but you know just keep in mind all these reps are variable you know do whatever works for you because I don't even think I mentioned how many sets to do of half of these exercises to be honest but generally they're all like three to five sets usually, you know? Maybe it's like time constraints or like whatever level you're on, you know? Three to five sets usually. So, you know, just do the other side now. I probably have the form wrong to be honest. I'm not a worker professional. Alright, so the next superset. I come in and I just forget what I was gonna do. Ah, chin ups. You know, these are pull ups with this grip, I forgot what it's called, like sup supinated grip or something, I don't know. And then there's this grip for chin ups, you know? Palms are like facing your chin, that's how I think about it. You know, so we're gonna do those because they work more with your biceps compared to pull-ups, how they work like your lats and stuff. So you need to change your grip, change the stuff, what you're working. And um, we'll superset that. Um, just get put on the spot, just a bit nervous, you know. Um, I don't... Yeah. Wow! Diamond push-ups. <laughs> so what was this going to do? Yeah, diamond push-ups, you know. Diamond. <laughs> diamond. Doesn't have to be like a diamond, it could be like a triangle. Whatever shape you like, it really could be... Could be some boobies, or some butt cheeks. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, so whatever. It's just, it's just a close grip push-up, is basically what it is, you know. Works your tits. And I think it works your triceps a little bit, I don't know, to be honest with you. But um, it works something. What? Oh. And then, yeah, so we'll just, you know, again, whatever reps you're comfortable with that you feel like you'd be good at, so even if it's one rep, it's still one rep. And then push-ups again, you know, two reps, ten reps, 1,058, whatever it is. So, you know, chin-ups. Remember your... Palms are facing that way. So, you know, we'll just do 10 of them. I can't go all the way up, unfortunately, because of the roof. But, you know, do what I can. Oh, I almost caught that time, dog. When will my headphones break? I don't know. <sighs> right, that's 10 minutes that'll do. And then, you know, close grip pull ups, diamond, close grip push ups, diamond push ups, you know. <clears throat> right, so yeah, I've got like a plane, I've got a spaceship shape going, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Normal push up stance and all that's good stuff, mate. And then just 
touch your chest with your hands, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, my. Oh yeah, my. You should really feel a squeeze in your tent. <sighs> yep. I'm really making myself look unfit here. Well, that concludes the four supersets, eight exercises total, three to five sets each, you know, however many reps you want. So we'll just finish off with like some finishes, some max out sets. So, um, after you do your rest, we'll just max out on like the good body weight exercise, you know, we'll just go back to pull ups. Max these out for one set, one to two sets, you know. Depending on how I feel, honestly, is why I do that. And go to dips, max out on there for two sets. And hopefully, you'll be fit. <laughs> like me, <they> might. <laughs>